this vlog, we will be going to Vegas. We are going to the Usher residency, and um, this is a early anniversary gift for myself and Akeem. I think the last date is the second, so we were trying to go like that weekend, and um, but it was completely sold out. So we were in, the, we were able to get tickets for Wednesday the 29th. So we'll be dropping the kids off at school on Wednesday, and then picking them up Thursday afternoon, um, assuming that there's no delays. So it's going to be a quick little, you know, in and out trip. I'm so excited about that. I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. And I have no idea. I wanted to do a jumpsuit. But because I'm short, I don't know if I have enough time to find a jumpsuit that I like and then have it tailored at least in the feet area, um, leg area to fit my height. I will say my boobs help pull up a lot of the material, but it's still not enough to keep me from slipping and sliding on the floor. So I don't know where our tickets are inside the stadium. I told him, I don't care if we at the back door, baby. I just got to get in there because y'all seen the um, videos all over social media. Like, it looked like it's lit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited about that. Huge fan of Usher. Um, growing up, uh, obviously, you know, my way, I want to say came out when I was in like sixth grade. But... Um, Usher's Confession album, hands down, the best album is all I listened to my freshman year of college. Like, anybody who knew me my freshman year of college knows that I played that CD, baby. Front to back, back to front, and I stopped on blast. If you walk past the dorm, you heard it. Hands down. Hands down, one of my favorite albums. So, I'm super excited to, to go with Akeem. Um, that is my favorite travel partner, um, my favorite concert partner. Um, except for the Beyonce concert, because he was just... I appreciate everything that Akeem did for us for the Beyonce concert. I love him for that. But he was just like, this album not for me, and I respect that. But when we went to other concerts, like, he was just a little bit more hype. So, he did watch Zuri. I can appreciate that. Um, but I'm just super, super excited to go. And then it's just like a small little break uh, from the kids. You know, I love when we do our little 24-hour breaks. It just helps reset my mental and um our anniversary is actually on the 8th so that following friday um we will be celebrating 13 years married and then on the 21st of december we will be celebrating 15 years together so that's a long time to be with one person but we have built a beautiful life together and i can appreciate that and we have four beautiful kids together and um, it's a lot of good that came from this union. So I would like to say that I'm super blessed. Hey everybody, welcome back to another day. Today we are, as of right now, headed to the airport. Um, we're gonna spend the next 24 hours in Vegas. Uh, we dropped off the kids this morning, uh, did some things around the house, and then we're headed to the airport. As soon as we get there, we are going to our room, getting dressed, going out to dinner, and then going to the concert. And then we literally come home tomorrow afternoon to pick the kids up from school. Or at the very least, we'll get home after they get home. Anything you want to say? Alright, so I might or might not get any footage of us, you know, at the airport and different things like that. Um, but if, I'll say this, enjoy the footage. A uh, little small montage of us, you know, getting through the airport. Uh, we're probably going to stop at the American Express Lounge. And uh, most likely, you know, once we arrive at the airport. But the next time you guys will hear from me will be in the hotel.
All right, so what's going on, y'all? We uh, we just checked in, landed about uh, a little over an hour or so ago. Um, let me tell y'all about that experience first and foremost. So usually we're either uh, we're Team Delta or Team Spirit. Now, before y'all start with the whole Spirit thing, Spirit ain't never did me wrong. And most of the time, I'm just trying to get to the destination. So as long as it's a... What'd you say? It's usually Spirit out here because it's a three-hour flight. Yeah, and usually, I mean, yeah, the only times or places that we flew on Spirit was... Home once. Going, usually Home coming out here to Vegas. And in Vegas. Because it's usually a business trip, and we come here to spend money, so in the point, of, it's, it's not a vacation, um, usually when we come here. And then... Um, well, yeah, going if we go home. But anyway, so we catch a quick, cheap Spirit flight, no problems. But... When we went to Chicago recently, and then this trip, we've flown United. We flew United one time um, when our flight coming from Vegas one time was canceled. A couple things. United's app. Oh, we flew United because we were supposed to fly Southwest, remember? And they bumped us. Was it Southwest or Spirit? Southwest. We were supposed to fly Southwest to Hobby, and then they bumped us. And we yeah. And we United. Yeah, that was our first time. So, um... No, United. So United's app, I like. Um, I, I like the user interface. I like all that good stuff. But unless you're flying business class, not business class, what? Economy, Economy Plus or first class. If you're in there, if you're in their regular economy seats. Now, I'm 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 six one, so I'm not six six. I'm not anything like that. But I'm a oh pretty average, a little bit taller than average guy. It's so tight. It, it like I literally get off the plane aching because I'm trying to compensate by not leaning on the person next to me or taking up they, their space. And luckily it was a woman next to me. That's another thing. When we booked the flights, well, when I booked the flights, I had Missy and I next to each other, but across the aisle from each other. So we both had an aisle seat. Um, check in and all of a sudden they have her in the row in front of me, but on the other side. That That was and they had her in the middle seat. And they had me in the window seat. So that was not supposed to be a part of the plan. Uh, yeah, oh, and we the back of the plan. And I say the back, I mean the way it was one row behind us. We were the second to last row. And uh, the black history of me don't like being put in the back of the plane when I didn't book to go back there. So um, <laughs> I'm going to call Amex or United. So I know if I call United, they're going to offer me a little something. But because I booked to do American Express Travel, they're really good about making sure that if we don't have the experience that we're supposed to have um, to make certain accommodations. So I'm actually hit up both to see what they do. I'm not really a complainer normally, but I don't like picking my seat, using your airline because I get to choose my seat. And then you just randomly choose whatever seat you want for me anyway. Like that's, that's no bueno. And we flew first class coming from Chicago. Um, so that was just a different type of experience. And I was like, we don't have to be in first class. We yeah. just got to be up towards the front. Yeah. But baby, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't put Missy on camera because she getting ready and Missy's melons are out. And um, yeah, that's not for y'all to see. Um, it's barely for me to see. But anyway, because um, if I start looking at you instead of looking at this camera, this camera going to get turned off real quick. So um, anyway, like I was saying, to the point that flying back, I am going to upgrade our seats to either Economy Plus or First Class, whatever they call it, because I can't do it. Even though it's a relatively short flight, a little over, well, a little under three hours, I cannot do it. Like, like my back and side right now are hurting because I'm twisting or leaning this way and putting so much emphasis on the left side by, because I don't want to lean into the person on my right space. And she was a smaller woman, so it was, it was fine. Um... And then somebody around us smelled. Uh, yes. It it was a combination of like musty urine. Yeah. And like you just left the gym, but you know, like that gym. I kept getting whiffs of it. I was yeah. so mad. I I think I know who I I don't want to say who it is just because somebody may come across, but I think I know who it was. Um. And the girl sitting next to me, she kept throwing her hair, and her braids kept hitting me in my face. I was like, one more time, <laughs> one more time. Oh my god. So. Um, the flight, the flight here is um, was not a good experience. So we're gonna have, you know, hopefully a better experience on the way back. Uh, currently in Vegas, it is five 
five fifteen ish. We have reservations in exactly thirty minutes. Y'all want to over under bet if Missy gonna be ready in enough time? Oh my god! What y'all think the odds are over under? She gonna be ready in enough time? I'll be ready. She said she gonna be ready. But the cool thing is like everything's all in the same place. So um, this is my first time staying at Park MGM, and I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of the room here in a second also. Um, huh? This is my last time. What? Oh, <laughs> Missy said it's her last time staying here. It is not bad, but um, I mean, it sounds bad saying this, like, and, and I mean this in the most humble way. But once you kind of expose yourself to certain luxuries, it's hard to go back when you have options. Now, when you don't have those options, I can go back to a red roof in if I need to. You know what I mean? But when you have options and means, you kind of move differently. And the only reason, because normally we like to stay at Aria, uh, Cosmopolitan, um, really those two. I haven't really tried the win um, or the Mirage or anything like that. Not the Mirage, but the win. Huh? <laughs> when we used to come, we used to stay at the Palms. Um, and we did that because, you know, the whole real world back when that was filming, they, um, you know, that's where it was shot. And they had all those cool suites, the basketball suite, the Kingpin suite. Um, the, the pools that hung over the edge of the hotel. Um, but recently, it's just really been like Cosmo and stuff like that. So it's not a bad hotel. It's not a bad hotel by any means, but it's just like the ceilings are really, really low here. And it it's, you can see where they tried to add some nice touches, but it feels like an upgraded Holiday Inn, if that makes sense. So y'all will see what I mean here in a minute. You know, let me just show y'all now. And we upgraded. So I had a reg a different room, but it was two queen size beds, and I didn't want that. Um, so I asked if there's any complimentary upgrades because we're here for the concert and our anniversary. Um, he said he didn't have any complimentary, but he gave me somewhat of a deal on this room. It's a bigger room. It's like 800 square feet. But here, let me show y'all for this battery die also. So you come in, you have this uh, butler pantry type area. Um, it's backlit, so down here you have, you know, your typical snacks. You got a fridge over there, and I guess that's for us. That's empty. Coffee baker, you know, the typical. You know, really big mirror here. But you can see the mirror is kind of like, I don't want to rub it, but it looks like it's prints all over it or something. Then you have the closet area, which is unusually large for a hotel room. Like, why would you need this much space? And a suite like this. Like, this is one of the bigger closets I've ever seen in a hotel. Then you come around here and see what I mean by as far as the ceilings? Like, I could touch this. That That's really low. So that's, this is not even my hand fully extended. Like I said, I'm 6'1". I put my hand above my head and barely, not even close to fully extended and touching the ceilings. So... That's the bathroom right there. Missy's getting ready, like I said. We have a oh, mirror here, couch, other TV. This is a dining room when he described it to us, but it's literally a old school table and a leather chair. Another couch, TV, bedroom. And you can see they did like some of the artwork, you know, they tried to. You know, spruce it up, but it still feels cheap, you know, for, for the price. Like, I think the it was about 300 bucks. Oh, that's the other thing. That's what I was saying. Let me turn it around. The reason we didn't stay at Aria Cosmo, one, everybody was sold out this weekend. And a regular room at Cosmo was like $1,000 a night. Why am I back with? Oh, there we go. So, a regular room was like $1,000 a night. And... Like I said, we're about 24 hours or less in Vegas. It wasn't worth it. So found this, and it's cool to all be in one venue for the concert, the dinner reservations, the room. So convenience over comfort, I guess you would say, in this situation. But if you look, let me show you all. I ain't trying to nitpick, but, you know, you got the, the paint bubbling up or the wallpaper, whatever that is over there. Then this, I don't know if y'all be able to see. 
Yeah, you can kind of see it on the ceiling right there. Like, what the heck is that? I don't know if those are body fluids or... I don't know. And then they have this light above the dining room table. And instead of being hardwired hard in, it's like, you know, this cord around this copper wall or copper uh, tubing. And it just plugged in here on a switch. So, you know, just little things like that. It's cool for what it is. Not knocking it. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. But sometimes you discover new hotels and you're like, okay, that's a little, you know, a little getaway. If I need to pop in and pop out and I'm budget conscious, I'll pop here. This probably wouldn't be one of them. So, but the, the casino part of the hotel is nice. It's just the rooms don't really, I don't know. I give it a four out of 10. What you say? Well, that's taking it back. I give it a, I give it a five or six out of ten. What about you, Missy? I'll take a five. She said a five. I don't know if y'all can hear her. It's just different. I'll put it that way. But we're in a time crunch. I gotta go in here and you know give me a little edge up, clean this up a little bit, get ready, and we will see y'all in a little bit. They look like that. Yeah, they do. Now you see why I be always on, on team. <laughs> I'll go back. No. I'll go back. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna, gonna start looking at me? <laughs> like, oh, that's why everybody looked at me when we first walked in. That's why I should have worn the other dress. I didn't know. It's the angle. 
I don't know if y'all can hear me because they have jazz music playing. But we are two drinks in and we're about to have um, an espresso martini and dessert. And then I need to go lay down. But I already know we're not gonna lay down. That's the worst part about it. I know we not. And y'all boy is in rare form right now. Talk about it. he might get on stage to tell Usher how to do it. Nakeem is a mess. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly fine, y'all. I don't know what she's talking about. When I, when you. <laughs> See? They what must, are you doing your, oh. They must have spiked my shit. I don't know. Where are your other glasses? Which one? The Yates. Ain't no one of the sunglasses in the side. Can't oh, see. they are sunglasses. And why are you bring the gates? In case. Just in case. I was mad. My glasses had fell off my head at the house and I left them. Shut up. That's why I want a boob reduction. I had a different, I was gonna wear a different outfit for dinner. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't. I was gonna wear a different outfit for dinner and then a different outfit for the concert. Stop. Yeah, them boys out today. My I'll last night for the up. night. I'm not taking no shots, nothing else. I beat us right. We already talked about this. Oh, if, if he interacted with you, I'm all for it. You know, I, I'll be I'll be a big, biggest fan for it. <laughs> I'll be your Anything outside baby. of that? Right, I'll be the best. Oh, hold on. We got to take a picture. Look, mine are like three in a row. You look like... You're going to have to make sure you listen to this and edit it. I don't... I'm talking real records. You always do when you think. I'm not big. And what kind of drinks do you do? When? Oh, just now, let me see, because you can drink an old-fashioned, but you don't talk like that. Have your it's phone. That's old-fashioned, like. I've seen you drink more, and you ain't never been on, on this level. Akeem, I asked to see your phone. I don't, I, I didn't ask for your pictures. Oh. <laughs> ah, me. Look at the camera. Why is it real, though? I can always make sure it's level. I thought you was taking a titty picture. What the hell you doing? You need to clean your camera. Some of the water. Yeah, get you some water. I'm don't, about to don't, do me. don't do me. Don't do me. Don't do me like I'm out here. <laughs> All right, this is my last one. My last one. So she's saying. Right, here you go. You want to get a picture or not? I just an actual picture. I didn't get my nails done. I could go to sleep. I'm gonna take this necklace off. I'll take my necklace off when I get to the room. It's not easy. I should have worn the other dress. I had a more elegant maxi dress. I don't know why I didn't put it on. Let me see if it's better than mine. And it is. It tastes the same. Huh? It tastes the same. It's good, though. It's strong. Strong what? Coffee or strong liquor? Strong liquor. Well, strong I just both. I drink old fashioned stuff. So. I'm gonna take my breast star. Fake. I'm gonna give a damn what people think. Talk about on the channel, they're gonna think I got fake boobs. It's the bra. Yeah, what they think either. It's um, it's a fancy bra. Okay. I only wear push up bras. The Fenty push-up bras with the wire. What? I'm thinking he replied. That's not what I. Mm -hmm. uh, I it went because I tagged. Oh. Not you thinking he replied. I'm like, oh, nigga, I'm about to beat you. <laughs>
Don't drink nothing else. I start my workout again tomorrow. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> because most people get sick and lose weight, I get sick and gain weight. I swelled up and I hot air balloon. So now I gotta lose the weight before my birthday. I think we're about to be 38. What are we doing for my birthday? That was so long ago for me. I remember when I was 38. I didn't cross over the new decade now. We were watching something and they were like six decades and Julia was like, uh, oh, Grey's Anatomy. And she was like, it was like six years, 16 years. I was like 60. And she was like, oh. <laughs> These are good. Oh I realized God. I made out mine and kids, not martini glasses. Yeah, the martini glasses are in the pantry. But I've seen them in coops also, so not too far off. No, I have to. I need toothpaste bag. I'm at, it's sent it to him when I tag him. Send him not shit to him. It always sends it to the person that can tag. No, it's just all right. <laughs> but I'm thinking, like, I tag you, you bring, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know this name. I gotta go unsend it. I'm saying, he ain't about to see it. My nose is too fogged up. He charged my phone. Yeah, I said that too. When I saw it, it was like 17%. Missouri said, okay, but what I want from New York, I mean, not New York, Las Vegas, can I get a toy, something from Claire's, the cup I had a long time ago, a clip for my hair, oh, and one that looks like a flower. All right, you can get that in Houston. <laughs> you got to get that espresso in you. It's nasty. It is not nasty. It is nasty. People tell me what's nasty to me. Because I'm drinking the same thing. I don't, okay, and it's not nasty to you. It's strong. At least let me get some ice cream in my sister first. You gotta put your big girl bra on. <laughs> what? Put your big girl bra on and just drink it. No, there's no such thing as a big girl bra. Yes, it is. No, it is not. That's the $80 bra. Not gonna run three for 20 y'all used to be able to get when y'all was in the sea curves. Okay, girl, bra. Uh -oh. Now your bra's hit. It's like this is how you know you're in a different financial level. When you can buy four brand new tires, when you can go buy seven brand new bras at your size. That's how you know life different. What happened with your tire? It's a nail in it. And all, the rest of them were just low because of the cold weather. But then this one, it had dropped real low. Like it's supposed to be at like, it was my rear, so 40, like 43. And it dropped all the way to 14. It looks like it's in the coop. Huh? The van looks like it needs new, uh, I mean, tires too. The van just got new tires. Before you to, uh, I said, the area is. Oh, in the area, yeah. Oh. Don't bitch up on me. It's too late. You can't bitch up. It's too late. You need that espresso. Wake up. That's <laughs> so tired. That's why you need the espresso. But I didn't sleep at all last night. That's why you need the espresso. I'm like, Lord, why would, like, what is going on that you don't want me to sleep? You were doing everything. Let me turn the dryer on. So Somebody called me. 
Well, so what happened with the dryer situation is I told Aiden, I'm like, bring your clothes downstairs so I can wash yours off the They don't care. We might as well wash clothes. clothes. don't care about this. And so. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you. FaceTime my baby. To help set her? Yep. I'm sorry. So she know what her man's gonna be able to do for her. <laughs> Make you one when I get back, okay? Okay. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. No more, no, um. Yes. No, we got here just before five. I was being dramatic again. Okay. Put that in a little stuffy purse. I'm ready to go to bed. What? I'm ready to go to bed. Girl, wait till last up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You don't need anything else. There you go. You got your car back? Oh, it's on the room. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna follow you. Okay, we're gonna walk together. <laughs> I don't even, y'all, I'm sleepy. Because even if I drink it now, I ain't gonna do nothing if I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, so, do you have it? Yeah. I have no words. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Yeah, a little quick little intermission. I told you. After after dinner, but before the concert. Now we all are tired. And I said, slow down. I told the king. Is it legal out here? Hmm? Is it legal out here? What? Okay, I'm not even gonna be able to vlog. I am <sighs> drunk and tired. We're not gonna make it. We're gonna be in there knocked out. <laughs> I told the king, let's go to sleep and no. He didn't wanna go to sleep. No, you wanted to take a 15, that would have did me in. I wanted to take 30 minutes. You want to play house. That's what did you in. Me? You when I came back to the bed, not looking like how you looking now. Yeah, tell, tell the people bathroom. the truth. You got to get butt naked to take it to tell mm -hmm. them. Yeah, because I want to shut up. Here. 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 Black is a thing. I had said black and faux leather, but I was like, I'm not about to be out here hot. And then, 
I brought my house, not house shoes, I bought these slippers off of Amazon. So, when my feet hurt, I can throw them on real quick. It's not too bad, it's still a bunch of people coming in. I'm gonna get a little bit of footage. Thank you, you too. Okay, y'all. We gotta go okay. behind to this airport. And hopefully we can make our flight. I appreciate it. Bye bye. So, best case scenario, we get our butts to the airport, we make our flight in less than an hour. Worst case scenario, we have we'll a delayed flight. Okay. Boarding to less than 15 minutes. All right. Um, worst case, Akeem did call United and we can get on the flight, but it won't be until three. So we gotta try to at least make this 10 a.m. flight. I don't know what's gonna happen because my stomach is going through it. But I want to update y'all before we got to the airport. Once we get there, then I can tell y'all about last night or maybe I'll wait till we land again. We'll just see how this goes, but whew, let us pray we make it. It's your fault. 
You should have set an alarm instead of saying, no, it's it, both our fault. It's, I will take responsibility. <laughs> but it's your fault too. Yes. I have no words. I have no words. So let us pray. As you're watching this, keep your fingers crossed, all right? I'll keep y'all posted in a minute. We're about to get in the uh, ride ship. Like, we have some issues. You know what? I'm going to update y'all when we get us out. busy this morning it was jam-packed so we probably made it through tsa i put it like this our flight stopped boarding at 9 45 we were still in line waiting to go through the um security check so um as we were as we were getting on the train to get to our gate is when we got a notification to check in for the 3 p.m flight so here we are still at the um airport so our flights did get bumped um so we were able to get, we ended up coming to the Centurion Lounge. Um, normally they don't let you in until at least two hours before your flight, but we were able to get in based off of our earlier flight. So we're in here getting breakfast. Um, Akeem is eating now and I am getting ready to go get my food. So I'm gonna see if you wanna give y'all some updates or information or talk to y'all, whatever the case may be. You don't wanna show them your food? They do have some good food. I might take y'all with me actually. Show y'all. No, I ain't gonna have time to hold it. I'll probably show y'all before we leave. It's pretty busy in here anyway. I'm just trying to see if one of those little pies opened up. I mean, I want them to clean up the table first, but. Alright, All right, so I'm gonna get my food. I'll show y'all what I got and then I'll talk to y'all. Okay, so I just got some pancakes, two hard boiled eggs, some scrambled eggs. So I wasn't sure how they were gonna taste. I forgot to get some salt. And then uh, corned beef hash and just some uh, pineapples and watermelon, my orange juice. Mr. Man almost done. Mm hmm. Pancakes are good though. Okay, I, I saw that they were like butter, maple butter or something like that. I didn't read it. Oh. Alright, so let me eat. So we had breakfast not even an hour ago. And then here this man go. They just put out lunch and this man eating again. And I don't know how. I don't know, I don't know how you're okay. 
I don't know how you're okay. Not only do I not know how he's okay, but then he got the nerve to say, uh, it's a bar in here, I'm about to order some more drinks. If you don't leave me alone, you and your last name will be sitting here in Vegas. The food look good. Though. Let me show y'all the food. I need some salt, but these are like my mashed potatoes. Then it's not like your mashed potatoes. No, it is. And do you need some seasoning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need salt at all these tables. You could have brought me something to drink. I need a water. Where the water at? It's like on the tap. I don't want no tap water. Not the tap. That's on the tap. No, oh, I'm about to say. I can't. I don't want to drink or eat anything. Okay? All I want to do is just curl up into a ball. I know it's not liquor. <laughs> They had a cucumber lime for us. Oh, that's nasty. Don't give me that. There's a sugar. Right, my stomach. What is life right now? Something to drink like what? A water. Or a Sprite. Ooh, see if they have uh, ginger ale. Even though they were both ghetto. Bring this up. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Akeem just got me, huh? Some ginger ale. I don't know if it's gonna help settle my stomach, but I don't know, I've been drinking it since Thanksgiving anyway. It's all I've been drinking since Thanksgiving. I need water. I need to wash my face. Oh, lunch lit. All right, so we are the boarding our flight. We're getting ready to get on a little bit. We did get the kids some shirts and there a cup. And we're boarding in the next 30 minutes. So we should land in Texas about eight. around eight. Yeah, and it's about an hour drive home because we parked at the airport since we were only going to be gone for a day. So, I am going to, I hope we got enough footage, I think we got enough footage. Yeah. I just gotta, you just gotta get the whole thing. Oh yeah, so I'm not gonna close it out just yet. That is right, I forgot this has been a hell of a day. So I'm not gonna close it out just yet. Uh, we'll probably pop on tomorrow since the team is off work. Okay. Jeez, I'm going straight to bed. My stomach's still going to be 8.39 if I want to get home. I didn't even eat at the uh, Centurion Lounge because I was just like, I'm, I'm scared to eat. Show them your food. I ate breakfast. I'm talking about the lunch. I was scared to eat because I'm like, I ain't trying to be in the bathroom with a plane the entire time. Missouri is space having me. So I will see y'all when we land or tomorrow morning. So it's been a few days since we've been back from Vegas. We're currently in Akeem's office eating lunch. Okay, that's right. No, I just grabbed some Chipotle, and the way they made it, it was a little... They put the lettuce all on top, and they usually don't do it that way. But anyway, go ahead. I'm, that was it? Oh. Uh, oh, you didn't give me sour cream. It's on the burrito. But I like the side of sour cream. Oh. You know that. Well, it's a safe order, so whatever... So they just didn't put it in there again. I gotta look and see. I'm gonna blame it on them. But anyway, so we figured since we were, you know, catching up, we go ahead and let y'all know... Like I said, it's been a couple days, but, you know, just pretty much let y'all know how the trip was. Um, yeah, we're well, supposed to give y'all an update. The last time that you probably saw us, we were driving back from the airport. Did we vlog from back from the airport? Yeah, in the no, car. We came out. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Because no, remember, did it was that. really dark. I don't know. Maybe we did. And then I was like, well, we'll just test bases on when we get home. Oh yeah, and I was like, I ain't vlogging when we get home. Yeah, that so, right. my, so my this bad. this is just a pick up from that. So my, my I give my thoughts on it. Well, let me go first because I know she's gonna try to set the table different. Cold. Is no. it? <laughs> You'll see. So in the car, hey, you about to blame me? No, 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 no. Um, because you explained all that already. So as far as the the ushers, um, his residency, his concert, for me, from an entertainment value. It is the best concert that I've ever experienced. What? Nothing. For me, best concert I've ever experienced. 
Now, I've seen some heavy hitters. I've seen, um, <laughs> I don't even know if we should be talking about him at this point, but uh, Diddy back in the day, like 97, 98. You Diddy. saw him. Um, Diddy and Friends tour. I mean, when he had Busta Rhymes and Little Kim and everybody. Um, I want to say the No Way Out tour. Um, way back in the day, New Edition. I've seen Jay a couple of times. I've seen B on her, I think it was her B Day tour. Um, I've and formation. Formation. I've seen. And Renaissance. Renaissance. I, we saw uh, Ross and Wayne. We saw Jeezy. Nikki. Uh, yeah, Nikki was on that tour. We saw Nikki. Um, Jeezy. No, I'm sorry. Jeezy, Trey Songz, Songs, and Jay. So we've seen a lot of different um, concerts. By far, to me, this this is why it was my favorite personally. Um, and I was trying to get Missy to admit that it was better than the Renaissance tour. And and she refused until, I want to say I tricked her into, but I packed her into a corner where she had to admit it. So Usher does have an advantage from that stand, from this standpoint. When you when most artists typically tour, right, they... Um, let me make sure my arm warm. When most artists typically tour, it's off an album. That's what I'm saying now. So they drop an album and then... They tore off of that album, so they'll play most of the album cuts and then some of their fan favorites through the years. And with any album, you're going to have some songs that you like, some songs that you're okay with. You know, it, it, some songs may not be um, for you. When you have a residency and you're not necessarily touring off an album, you can do nothing but your hits. You're not pressured to play majority songs off the new album to help push the sales. You could do nothing with hits, and that's exactly what he did. So, from opening with My Way to, I don't even remember what he closed out on. And then, to be honest, a lot of the songs, I didn't forget that Usher made them, but when you're naming songs off the top of your head, you will forget them. Um, and then, for me, some of the songs, just seeing them perform live with the live instrumentation, um, made the song that much better, if you will. So, for me, hands down, by far, not even close to using the best concert I've ever been to. And it was better than the Renaissance tour. Right? I feel like that's not... No. <laughs> I feel like for different Catherine. reasons. I do. I feel like for different reasons. Uh -huh. Renaissance tour was just a good vibe. It was, it was a party. Just, it, was, it, was, it was a ball. Um, I think just in whole what it represented. I feel like what... Us being able to dress up in costume. The anticipation. Like the funny part about it is I kept reading people say... The Beyonce concert is over now. What, right? So everybody was like, we did all this planning about buying tickets and what we were mm -hmm. gonna wear, and coordinating itineraries, and you know, coordinating our, our you know, um, uh, just coordinating all the way around. Right. Uh, and it was like it was almost like planning a wedding. And it was like once the wedding was over, a Hope lot of people were going through like, but, yeah. but it was so a lot of people were like, just like now what? Like we put so much time and energy into learning the songs and so on and so forth. And so I feel like just from that aspect of it was kind of one of those things for the year, mm -hmm. right? Like, like it was, it was the wedding of the year, you know, to be a little bit dramatic when I explain it. So from that aspect of like getting together with my girls and me and my little cousin playing an outfits and Zuri getting excited and us learning songs, that was fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. But my anticipation to see Usher was a little greater after a while, mostly because it's Usher for one. Mm -hmm. um, for two, as excited as I was, like, I enjoyed being at the concert, but I, I I wanted you there, but I knew you were going to be there for Zuri. I knew it wasn't going to be that type of party. For the answer concert, yeah. Yeah, but I knew Usher was going to be like sexy time for us, right? <laughs> and But then I was excited because of how, like, that was one of those, like, fear of missing out concerts for me. Mm -hmm. um, Beyonce, I knew we were in the door. I knew that you were going to make that happen. When it seemed like we didn't know if Usher was going to happen, mostly because of the time. We were like, man, do we really want to go during the school year? Because we haven't been talking about this, you know, since mm -hmm. he first announced his residency. If and I may interject right there, just really quick. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I don't think we've ever discussed this. I don't know if I ever said it to you. But I don't know what you're going to say. The, we got, so, as far as his show, mm -hmm. like, obviously, it's been going on for a while. And um, one of our friends actually saw him two years ago in December. Um, right before New Year's Eve, him and Bruno, he went and saw both of them. So it was like, it's cool, but I really wasn't that pressed to see it. Actually, I was excited or wanting to see Bruno more than Usher. Yeah, I remember, well, for you, yeah, I remember that. But what really set my 
intention on going, and I think for a lot of people, was ironically when this situation popped off between him and Kiki Palmer. And that's when you started to see more and more content from the concert. And it's like, oh, we this... had our tickets before the though. No. Are if, you sure? On positive, we were at, we were talking about it. Like, yeah, we'll you know go try to whatever the case may be. And then that situation popped off, and mm. then that's when the demand flew up. So, without rambling too much, so I forget what day it was, but let's say the Kiki Palmer incident happened here. Then I would say probably a, maybe two months yeah, right. prior. It was like June, July. Yeah, two months prior, I was on uh, MGM Grand's website because that's where the concert venue is, and they had Usher packages where you get the room, the concert tickets, the experience, and everything. And I'm looking at packages now. Mind you, these packages have been out for six months, eight months, a year. Mm-hmm. Kiki Palmer situation happened. I went two weeks later. Everything was booked solid. <laughs> so it's like that. I think that I think from people sharing that and talking about it and seeing more of the concert, it created more of a, oh, this is an actual show. Like he really putting on the show, and that increased demand. So then FOMO kicked in. Mm-hmm. And that, to be honest, that's probably the best thing that ever happened as far as the buzz. It probably would have always sold out, but the demand was definitely higher. So it wasn't a matter of going or not, because before then a couple weeks later, he ended up adding more tour dates to go through December 2nd. So because the Kiki Palmer incident happened and demand shot up, the resale value on tickets on Ticketmaster shot up. Sidebar, I don't think any of our family members do this, but this is a pet peeve of mine. When a concert drops... And y'all going to ticket master, y'all be like, insert X artist name, charging $1,000 for the tickets. That's not the artist charging that much. That's somebody bought the ticket and they're reselling it. But for whatever reason, no matter how big of an artist is, or no matter how big the artist is, whenever tickets come out and it's resale, people don't seem to know the difference between this is a, I guess you would say, a non-marked up ticket or you're buying it from somebody. But nonetheless, it was just, I didn't want to pay. The prices that they were asking. And then I was trying to get Missy to the little section that he walk up and interact in. And that's what we were trying to be um, for her experience. And I remember I saw the tickets. And this is this is guys, this is how guy work. I had the tickets in the cart, and this is before he announced the extension. Put my card information in. I hit process and it wouldn't go through. And I'm like, that's strange. So I did it again, wouldn't go through. Did it again, wouldn't go through. I'm like, it should go through. So I ended up checking my email, and it's from American Express. And they're like, yeah, we didn't let the transaction go through because it's no predefined limit on the card. So I'm like, it should have went through. And they were like, you know, just want to make sure that it was you type of thing. So I'm like, maybe that's a sign. So I didn't do it. And literally, I think 24, 48 hours later, he announced that he was doing an extension. That's when I saw it on Facebook, and I was like, "Can we please go for our anniversary?" Yep, and then I bought those. But I didn't tickets. know he was trying to get tickets before then. I still paid a luxury tag, but it was about half of what it was to try to go in because everybody was trying to get. Because I think July was supposed to end. It's supposed mm-hmm. to, no, it's supposed to end in like October. October, yeah. And then he ended up extending it through December. But yeah, but so best show. Overall, though, um, what I was saying before Akeem chimed in was I was so then like he said we Go ahead, we, I'll be right we back. talked about going oh where am I end up to do you have plates we talked about going but not too hot please and um, but so we we tried to coordinate going like if we were gonna be in Vegas for a Magic we tried to coordinate going around that time and like I told y'all I think I told y'all when we were headed to Vegas it was just like. That was when he would take his break when we were in Vegas, which makes sense because there was already tons of people there anyway. So I was just like, I really didn't know how I felt traveling while the kids were in school and trying to find, you know, a sitter to come to the house and sit with them and so on and so forth. And so nonetheless, it worked out. But yeah, after seeing like more videos of how he was interacting and just how everybody was vibing, I was like, I want to be in the building. So going with Akeem... Um, having a few drinks, uh, knowing all of the songs, um, as much as possible was just, it was just a really good time. And I, I loved how intimate it was. Like you'll see that we we weren't super close to the stage, but we actually, in my opinion, had really good seats too, because in my mind, when I was trying to figure out like, 
is it sitting room, standing room? Like, just looking at the venue, I was like, oh, we probably at the back door. But I was told to came, I just want to be in the building at this point in time. But we were um, off to the light. There was a section in front of us. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I could be lying. But there was a section in front of us. And then it was our section. And then a, a section behind. And then a section up top. And so I thought we was going to be, like, in a way back. But we were actually in a really good area where you could see from the stage. And, like I said, it was just very intimate. Um, we didn't get close where Usher is sang to me. And he did pull women up on the stage. But I will say I do feel like he catered a lot to um, the single women and girls trip. I'm okay with that. Uh, I was there with my man. My man, my man, my man. And I was okay with that because we just had, we had a good time. Absolutely. It owes me nothing. But then as y'all saw the next morning. So I think I told y'all. But when we went out to the restaurant. Um, I was like, I just need two drinks. I just need to get where I need to get and have a good time from there. And I had a feeling I was gonna get a drink at the venue. And we had like an hour and a half. Like we had like about two hours, an hour, hour and a half before we left the restaurant. I mean, after we left the restaurant before the concert. So I wasn't trying to get like too lit at dinner. I was. But if y'all know Akeem, y'all know Akeem. Y'all, if y'all got a husband, a man, whoever, y'all already know how it is. It's I just, just like to get on my level. I don't be stumbling. I'm That's not even. Right. I'm talking about when when y'all be like, here, drink your drink, don't baby it, take a shot. Da, da, da. I don't feel like my man is trying to take advantage of me, but for whatever reason, y'all feel. Like, I feel like I'm fun without liquor, but he feel like I'm extra fun with liquor. No, and so I kept you, saying, you, no, there's a there's a bridge because once you get too far on your level. <laughs> You become a normal. <laughs> <laughs> like you were. Because that's what Candace said to me. Because she was like, whenever I see Akeem like this, she was like, I laugh. She was like, because she was like, I always think about how you annoy him when you lit. And I was like, touche. Touche. Because he was getting on my nerves. And the thing that I think that annoyed me the most was like, I've seen Akeem lit before. Okay. Relax, relax. But I've seen you drink way more drinks. And you were not. And he wasn't even annoyed. He was. He was just in rare form. It, it it was just like, shut up. Like, the stuff that he was saying, the stuff that he was doing, I'm just like, shut up. Like, stop doing that. Stop saying that. Well, it happened been a while since I drank before the trip, so, I mean. But you were talking all this stuff about me drinking before the trip. and Or not drinking and why I got sick. But I didn't get sick. Boy, when I tell you. So, we got back to the room that night. I wasn't, like, stumbling or anything like that, but. The before the concert. I'm talking about after the concert. Oh, after, okay. Yeah, when we get, no, so before the concert, we were sleepy. I was like, we ain't gonna make it. Man, I laid down after dinner. <laughs> I was so tired. And then. I was like, forget it. I'm like, <laughs> we, we had to close our eyes and then like the alarm went off, we gotta go. to mind, it's only like nine o'clock <laughs> Vegas time, which is like, what, 11 back home? Mm -hmm. We had been up all night. I was sleepy. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna. I told him, I said, call Amex. <laughs> So we didn't make it. Get your money down. Like we tried. So we ended up, we ended up pushing through. But like once we got on the elevator, got down to the lobby, and we got to the part where like his he had like a little display where everybody was taking pictures. Once we got there, I had like my, I was okay. And then once we got in the venue, and saw how great the seats were, my energy level rose, and the DJ had the crowd rocking. So by that point, it was party time. I was ready to go. Yeah, it was it was such a good time, but. Afterwards, got home or to the hotel rather. Nothing I told y'all, but I started when I went to bed. No problem. I woke up about four o'clock Vegas time, six o'clock back home. At this point in time, my head is spinning, my stomach is flipping, the room is spinning. I got a headache. I feel sick to my stomach. Like I'm in and out of the restroom, and I'm texting the kids like, make sure I have free school, da, da, da. and I'm just trying to go back to sleep, and I'm I'm. Waking up, going back to sleep, waking up, going back to sleep. And then, but I didn't wake you up. To, your dad called. Mm -mm. Your dad did call. Yes, he did. For what? He called to tell you about when he dropped off Austin, Missouri. And something about the uh, pickup line. You remember that? Like, he was like, he dropped them off. And Zuri said something in the pickup line. And you were mad. I, he was I like, didn't he, talk to him until we were standing in line to get into the lounge. No, you talked to your dad that morning. Mm-mm. I promise you. You you woke me up and said, "What time we get up?" And I looked, and then it was we were just. No, you had woke up before then because I was like, "If you knew we had to be up at a certain time, why did you go back to sleep?" And no. that was seven a.m. Vegas time. Yeah, I don't remember. 
You don't. Your dad called you and said something about Zuri. No. Check you. See if you can pull it up on your phone. Probably not. Yeah, way too many calls. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, your dad called and said something about dropping Zuri off in the, in the pickup line. And you were like, you called me for that. And then you rolled over and you were on your phone for a minute and then you went back to sleep. Yeah, I remember. And so then that's when I woke came up again. I woke back up like 8.30 Vegas time. And I was on my phone scrolling, my stomach still flipping. And I was like, hey, what time I got to leave? And he was like, what time is it? And I'm like, I was like, uh, 10, 10 to 9. Mm-hmm. And he like, what? And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, you don't understand 10 to 9? And I was like, 8.50 a key. And he was like, we got to be at the airport. No, he was like, our flight leaves at 10. 10. <laughs> <laughs> I drove straight up. I was like, we can do it. We we can do it. But even then, I'm still in and out the bathroom trying to get ready. And I don't remember if we told you all this part yet. We 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 told them about how we missed our flight, but I don't think we told them like the details. Mm. Yeah, because I was like, I feel y'all in once we get a chance. But yeah, so now we we he's on the phone with Amex about uh, finding us tickets just in case we miss our flight. And I'm trying to pack. I'm throwing stuff into the suitcase because we only had stuff for one night anyway. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of easy to pack everything. But the hard part was, like I said, I was still using. The bathroom. Yeah, we were supposed to go and she in the bathroom. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was like, forget it. We ain't gonna make the flight. Like my stomach hurt. I can't do it. And so, uh, but Amex did find a uh, flight for later. But he was like, well, don't book it just yet because he's like, we may make this one. Although he was like, we ain't gonna make it. I was like, we can make it. We can make it. So uh, we get stuff ready. He calls the Uber, and um, the Uber was in like what three minutes. Mm-hmm. So we rush down to the lobby, get in the Uber. We get to the uh, we get to the airport about nine fifteen, right? It was about it was yeah, it was about a quarter after nine. And so we so the airport like I swear yeah. it, it would have had to have been like a mile <laughs> that we had to walk to get to TSA. We get all the way down there. The lines are crazy long. Yeah, like, Vegas, this is not IH. Yeah, Vegas is always like that. Like McCarran or Harry Reid. Yeah, yeah. Where it was always like that. It's always be. like that, no matter who, what airline you fly. Um, we're spoiled by uh, Bush Intercontinental because I can I can get to Bush 15 minutes before my flight and make it to my plane routinely. You told Jack John Lee that they almost missed their flights. They probably just didn't get there. In a, uh, they, they went early, too. And I think after the Beyonce concert, everybody was going back home. Beyonce didn't fly in 50,000 people. Mm-hmm. That would have been all right. Either way. You got a handful of people that flew in. So, we walk to the TSA. I mean, we, get, uh, we it's a long line, like I said. You can wait. We're going to edit this. Instead of trying to talk with your mouth full. But we get through the line. I get all the way up there, scan my boarding pass. No, I give him my ID. And he's like, your date of birth doesn't match. I was like, I've flown United three times. No issues. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, the date of birth doesn't match. So he's scared. He is. He's like, you're good. We had to go all the way back down to the door that we came in for him to fix my birthday because he put my birth year. He put, put my his birth, birth year as my date. birth year. Yeah, so. Now, mind you, we flew there under the same pretenses with no issues. So TSA not doing a thorough job, apparently. <laughs> but they had me down under 83. The, on, the, on the way back, we had top flight security of the world. <laughs> but on the way there, they didn't care. So. So. Once we get it fixed, they're like, you don't have to wait in line. Just go straight up. So we go all the way. She, but she's, the one lady's like, go through the employee entrance. So we go to the employee entrance. We stand in line for a little bit. And they're like, no, you got to go back to the guy who scanned you. So I go over there. And I told him, I was like, well, just wait. I'll be right back. So mm-hmm. then I, he ended up coming over. And the guy was like, just scan us right through. Fine. Then we get over there. And we, the line is still long. Now you got to go through security. And I was just like, we're not going to make it. We are not going to make it at this point. So one guy comes up to us. He's like, hey, you know, is it okay with y'all if I just go ahead and go through? Because I'm not trying to miss my flight. He's like, we already missed ours. Go right ahead. At this point in time, they're boarding. It was like 945, and they were supposed to close the doors at 945. Mm-hmm. Hold on, y'all. I'm calling Perry Holmes. Can you speak? How can I help you? All right, so we're back. But, um, like I said, he went ahead and let the guy go through. At 9.45 is when they were saying that they were closing the doors. At 9.45, we're still in the line going through security. 
So we finally get through. I don't think it's quite 10 yet. Mm -hmm. So we put on our shoes. We get on a little transit. Soon as we get off of the little transit bus to get to the gate, I got a notification like, you need to check in for your next for your flight. And it was for the 3 p.m. flight. And I was like, hey, we just got booted or whatever. But before then, um, United was also asking for people to... Um, they overlooked the flight as typical. Yeah, so they were asking for people to, to go on the next flight. So I was, he was like, well, I'm just going to sign this up just in case. And so that's pretty much what happened. Like they just went ahead and since we didn't make it, booted us, which worked out in our favor. But so we then we were able to go to the Amex Lounge. Um, normally, that I think saved I told y'all. <laughs> yeah, two things saved us. One, normally you are only allowed to go to the lounge two hours before your flight. Um, I think it's four. No, it's two hours. Mm. And so at least that's what it was when we went to Chicago. Let me say that. It's universal, so... And so it was two hours before, because I don't know if you remember when we went to Chicago, they told the lady or the guy that he, it was too early for him. Excuse me. But, um, so we were able to show our 10 a.m. flight and they let us in based off of that. And so we got in there and that's when y'all saw us eating and everything. And I didn't eat. To be honest with you, I did not eat my first three meal. Hours. Oh, three hours. Yeah. I could not eat my first meal until... What's it up? When did we have spaghetti? A couple days ago. Mm -hmm. The night before last, we had spaghetti. That was my first time eating like a real meal. I could not eat ever since breakfast. And that was a light breakfast. So technically ever since dinner in Vegas, I didn't really eat. Like I, I only had like one mm -hmm. meal a day. The lounge really saved us because... That makes sense now, three hours. Because remember, she's like, we'll use your 10 a.m. Uh -huh. So remember when she's going through the lounge, she's like, does your flight leave after 1 o'clock? Oh, yeah, that is right. So she 10 o'clock yeah. till 1. So... I like, well, technically, our flight leaves at 3, and she was like, well, we'll use your original reservation time mm -hmm. to let you in now, because they don't want people sitting in there, you know, eight hours a day eating free food and liquor, <laughs> so um, it really saved saved us, because when we got there, they were still serving breakfast, so we got there, found us a table, got us some stuff, um, we have footage, I don't know if it'll be put in this video or not, no, but it's definitely yeah. on our socials, on our Instagrams and stuff, mm -hmm. um... And then I think about an hour later, a little over an hour, yeah, they, little, they were switching out for lunch because it was like a little over ten when we got there, so right around eleven thirty ish, um, they brought out lunch. So I went through um, again and got some lunch, and then they have a bar, a full service bar, all the liquor is complimentary. Uh, her stuff was still messed up, so I, she just got a ginger ale. I didn't get any liquor. I should have though, mm -hmm. even a little mimosa or something, but. And then, so after she drank that, they have like these, they have all kind of different, so they have like seating for, like if you're eating, they have, you know, workspaces, they have quiet time space, they have a kid area with TVs and stuff to keep the kids occupied, and they have these like tall backed little benches or booths, if you will, mm -hmm. a little bit more lounge, a little bit more comfortable, so we found one of those and we kicked it over there for the remainder of our time, and then... What, about an hour or so before the flight, hour and a half before the flight, um, we decided to get up out of there. We went and got the kids some stuff. Because yeah. we were supposed to get them like souvenirs and stuff in Vegas. Yeah, that didn't happen. But yeah, nothing happened the way it was supposed to go that next morning at least. And so we ended up just giving them, getting them like some shirts, some Vegas shirts. Um, we wanted to show y'all, but by the time we got home, we ended up giving the kids their stuff and then we went straight to bed. And um, then they wore their stuff like the next day. But we had got them all shirts, and then just Zuri got a shirt, but then she also got a um a Vegas cup, like a Starbucks type of cup. Mm -hmm. But that was pretty much it. Yeah, I mean that was our <laughs> twenty four hours in Vegas. Twenty four hours in Vegas. It was fun. I am looking forward to his Super Bowl halftime show. Same. That's gonna be nice. And I don't know if he plans on. I think it's rumored that he's doing a world tour afterwards. I'd be surprised if he did, but. I don't know what people keep saying. I mean... It's, but they said the same thing about Rihanna. Like, oh, she must be announcing but her. But she was pregnant. So even if she was going to do something, she had to 86 that idea. That's true. Um, my aunt... Well, I ain't going to say concern, but well, I, mean, she, I will see the... I, she accepted it before she knew she was pregnant, right? I mean, after she knew she was pregnant, right? Before. Because you figure the Super Bowl is in February and they announced Usher, what, a couple months ago? Yeah. Not even a couple months ago. But like she last was like month. pregnant, pregnant. So yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay. Um, I just wonder if he does, because Usher's going to at least do your basketball arenas, you know, 16, 17,000 
people. Mm -hmm. um, I just wonder if the intimacy, because mm -hmm. uh, Dolby, um, the Dolby Live concert venue at Park MGM is a lot more intimate. I don't know how many. I will say probably what. Ten thousand, maybe? No, not even that. Yeah, that's. I don't know. Let me see if maybe I remember. Maybe worth looking at. Yeah. Uh, that will be. Why? But those of you who had a chance to see it understands what it what it was like to be in there, and then those of you who didn't get a chance, yeah. Sixty four hundred people capacity. Oh, okay. So a little over six thousand people. So that intimacy allow for that interaction. Allow for. Um, Everything that I to me that thing made it so special. I just don't know if you then blow that up to arenas. Will it still translate? I think the music would be great still. But that's what I was about to say. The music would be a vibe, obviously, for those who uh, of us who grew up with Usher. Um, I just don't know. Oh no, I can see it. I can see it still being a vibe. Yeah, it still would. It's just different. Um, I, but yeah, I just feel like the 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 feeling of it be different because like even mm -hmm. though we were excited about being in the building with Beyonce, um, and we had good seats there because we were able to see directly on, um, we were still far away from her, you know. So I can only imagine what it felt like for the people in the back <laughs> at the Usher concert. Right now, Beyonce concert when we saw people like in the stands and. We, I don't know if y'all saw the videos on TikTok when they were zooming in like damn near a hundred times. Yeah, that, that that. But I think again, just being in the building. But I don't think he going on. He ain't, <laughs> he ain't in the crowd. He ain't in the crowds and he ain't bringing people on stage. That's for sure. Yeah. So I mean, that was that was our experience. It was good. If you went to the show, we want to hear about your comments sure. or your experience. You know, let us know in the comments below for sure. Um, oh yeah, but stand at the park MGM. He was like, it was convenient, but yeah, be is. So we had um, dinner, obviously hotel reservations, and then a concert all in the same place. So that was just dope, just being able to just be Walk. in the same place and never having to Inside. leave. And your room is right there because we were saw people trying to get into ride shares and after the concert, it yeah. Was even though it was a nice little line to get into the elevators, we still wasted no time getting mm -hmm. up to our room after the concert. So mm -hmm. that was cool, um, but you can. Hmm, I almost say you couldn't pay me to stay at Park MGM, but it definitely wouldn't be. That my... particular room was not a great display. It was a nice size, but like we could hear the people next door to us, like because it was a conjoined suite. Mm -hmm. So like, and it was just an older hotel. That's and been it had like a little opening at the bottom, yeah. So. And he was like, "Oh, you're gonna love the view," and it was like the back of the hotel. No, it's the pool area. I mean, it's a, it that's was a the decent. back of the hotel. Decent view. It was it was decent. He said we were going to love it. That's not the oh like you enjoy it. That's not the same thing. We'll see. It was, it was a vibe. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that last little detail was like I'm just messing. <laughs> I deep throat it. <laughs> <laughs> Delete all that shit. Anywho, so yeah, let us know you know how you felt about this video, and we'll see you guys next time. That's why you did it.